Hi guys, Luna here. Welcome back to another Remnant 2 guide. So yesterday I uploaded all the Red Throne Room secrets going over rings, relics and amulets to see if you guys wanted more of those type of videos. And with having 8,000 views already on that one, that's definitely enough people to continue making some more. So we're going over exploring more of Yaesha. And since there are so many things to cover, I'm doing three locations in this one instead of one. We're covering the Withering Weald, Keula's Rest, and the Far Woods. However, I should point out that some of these items can be found in multiple areas, not just those I just mentioned. But I will tell you as we go. In total, we have ten rings and amulets to find. The Soul Link Ring, Kuri Kuri Charm, Scavenger's Bobble, Hallowed Egg Amulet, the Spirit Stone, Keula's Ring, Sage Stone Ring, Wax Seal Ring, and the Soul Guard and Soul Anchor. And we'll start in the Withering Weald. In this section, you can find the Soul Link Ring in a random location on the ground, but it can be also found in the Nameless Nest and Forgotten Fields, as well as Keula's Rest as well. The Kuri Kuri Charm is found in the Bird's Nest event after you get the bird to leave. This is a random event that will spawn in this area, but it will also spawn in a bunch of other areas as well. How to get the bird to leave is a little unclear, but it will leave after a certain amount of time, and the Kuri Kuri Charm will be found behind the bird. Next is Scavenger's Bobble can be found lying around randomly in the Far Woods, the Twisted Chantry, the Forbidden Grove, or in my case here, the Withering Weald. Also in the Withering Weald, you have a chance to spawn the Root Nexus event, and defeating the Root Nexus will give you the Hallowed Egg Amulet. Next we'll move on to another area I'm doing, Keula's Rest. There are a few possible items that spawn here. One is a ring. It can either be the Soul Link ring we mentioned earlier, or it has a chance to be the Spirit Stone, and it will be lying around on the ground in a random location. The other item here is a quest item. It's Keula's ring. You need to pick this up in order to continue. Let's move on to the Far Woods. First, in these woods, you have a chance to spawn the Root Nexus again, which we talked about earlier, where you can get the Hallowed Egg. You can also find a Maidra, who you can give Kaola's Ring to get the Sorrow Weapon. You do have a chance to find a ring on the ground in the Far Woods. For me, this one I found is the Sage Stone Ring, but it also has a chance to be the Wax Sealed Ring, but you will require multiple playthroughs in order to get both. Lastly, the Blood Moon Altar can spawn in the Far Woods, and you can use the Blood Moon Essence to buy Soul Guard Ring, which I like using as a summoner and handler class, as it will grant you 15% damage reduction, which is nice. Plus, we have the Soul Anchor. And of course, at the Blood Moon Altar, you can also buy some other stuff like the Blade of Gull, and one thing I haven't bought here, which is the Knotted Root Armor. Guys, that's it for this one. We have covered three more areas of Yaesha, the Withering Weald, Kate Eula's Rest, and the Far Woods, and we've picked up ten rings and amulets. But that's it for this one. Like and subscribe for more Remnant 2 videos as we explore more of Yaesha and other places in the game, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.